everyone, and welcome to Creative Conversations, a spotlight on the arts in Medina County, where we talk with some of the best artistic groups throughout our area, and we get to know them a little bit and what they're up to. And today we have the pleasure of taking a look at the Buckeye Community Theater, and with me today is Artistic Director Kimberly States and the President, Susan Dasick. And so welcome, Kimberly and Susan, and thank you for taking the time uh, today to come out and talk with us. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and Kimberly, you've got quite the distinguished background in music. So uh, Heidelberg to New England Music Conservancy up in yes. Boston, opera in Italy. Yes. And uh, so the, the theater is kind of a natural progression for you. But, yes. But Susan, <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have kind of an interesting way that you came to be with the Buckeye Community Theater. Do you mind telling us about that a little bit? I do. Um, I moved here from Virginia. Um, and my daughter is on the autism spectrum, so she's usually very quiet. Um, she came home one day from sixth grade, and she had this flyer in her hand, and she's like, I want to audition for, it was uh, The Little Mermaid. So I told her, no, you don't, <laughs> because I didn't know anything about theater. Um, but she wanted to do it, so I tried to immerse myself in as much as I could to learn. Um, about musical theater and, and what it took to run a show, costumes, uh, props. Um, and then as we went along, a couple of years later, uh, the most of the individuals that were in the group, their children had graduated and moved on. Um, so I wanted to keep it going, and that's where we are today. Terrific. Yep. That's a wonderful story. Tell Thank us about you. the power of the arts to reach different folks, right? I mean, Absolutely. You, you just never know what may appeal to a child. So Absolutely. that's great. Uh, can you guys introduce your organization a little bit and tell us a little bit about the, the mission of the group? Absolutely. So Buckeye Community Theater's mission is to support, inspire, and educate the next generation of performers, uh, theatrical educators, directors, and arts patrons, because those individuals are very important too. <laughs> And uh, can you talk a little bit about the range of the artistic uh, disciplines or activities your organization encompasses? Yes, so musical theater is so wonderful because it encompasses so many different art forms. Singing, acting, dancing, and then you have all of the backstage work, which is costumes, lighting, set design, set painting. So it's really a culmination of so many different art forms. So much work to go into that production that, only yes. that the public only sees. That's yes. right. You know, all arts groups have had just a difficult time. Uh, even be, I mean, it's always a struggle, right? Let's, <laughs> let's just be honest. But COVID uh, clearly had a huge impact on um, all types of musical venues, uh, you know, really private ones as well as nonprofits. How have you guys adapted to those changes and uh, especially anything else that, that may have risen up for you guys? Right. So, you know, COVID was very difficult for our organization and we actually stopped producing musicals for three years because of it. Uh, we also obviously took a massive financial hit right. uh, with that as well. So when we started back up again, we had very little money in the bank. Mm -hmm. um, and so when we went to produce our last show, which was Legally Blonde Junior, right. um, we really had to fundraise a lot. And we are so grateful to the wonderful Medina community mm -hmm. for really championing us and um, you know supporting us financially and also with in-kind donations and volunteering as well. Right. And actually, we're just going to put up on the screen here now. It's not in our script, but uh, there's numerous ways for people to donate to, to the Buckeye Community Theater. And uh, let's see, we have, uh, they're up there now. They've got the investors, patrons, supporters, and friends, uh, different levels they can donate and different ways that, uh, uh, different tickets amounts and the ways you guys recognize them. And also for each of your plays, um, businesses and individuals can also take out ads in your programs, right? Yes. So, okay. Yes, they can take out ads in our programs and we also offer uh, sponsorships. So businesses can uh, sponsor part of the production and what we do, which is really fun, is we take their logo and we try to incorporate it somewhere into the <laughs> set or oh, somewhere. Um, and so it's, it's really fun. Uh, we actually had this past year, uh, we put a commercial 
it, it, right after intermission for the legal group uh, that <laughs> Critchfield, Critchfield and Johnson that supported us. So we wrote a, a commercial and the children sang and danced to it. It was super fun. That is terrific. So um, how are people able to get involved with your organization if they may be interested in it? You can go to bctohio.org. Um, we are on Facebook, Buckeye Community Theater, and Instagram is also Buckeye Community Theater. You can go online and look and get involved in various ways. Yes, uh, and so on our website, there's also, if you go to volunteer, there's a menu which you can tell us, you know, if you have a special talent, uh, whether it's painting or costumes or grant writing, we would love someone <laughs> to help us with that. Right. Um, you can tell us uh, if you have a special um, talent or if you have time, Right. We will find a job for you. That because is never a problem. Because you guys also have people doing concessions and tickets. Oh, I yes. I looked at your website beforehand. So uh, if people have any interest in getting involved and just being close to the uh, uh, the musical productions, they can get in contact with you. And you will put them to work, right? Oh, yeah. We will find something <laughs> for them to do, yes. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, a lot of effort goes into these productions and just keeping it running. Uh, do you guys have a way that you measure uh, the effectiveness of your programs and... Uh, uh, the initiatives and achieving your goals? I mean, do you, do you talk about that as a board? We do. Yeah. We definitely talk about it as a board. We also, um, at the end of our productions, we send a survey out um, for parents and for our actors and actresses to fill out to say what they learned um, along the way during the right. production and what they got out of it um, at various levels. We also, and this is difficult to quantify, but as an educator to watch a child at the beginning of the process, who may be struggling with confidence and then towards the end of the process and just to see that growth um, of you know on an individual level has been so rewarding for both Susan and myself and the entire production team and that's the thing that really keeps us going is to watch those you know individual wonderful moments uh, yes. that happen. Yeah it's uh, it, it's stunning to me to watch I've, some of the, the have ta the talent contest they've run here in some of the musicals and even just in the schools when the kids get up to speak because the number one fear in the world is public <laughs> speaking or right, appearing right. on camera right? we all feel it i still feel it after all these years and, and to watch young kids be able to go up there and do it with confidence that is you know that is just that's just a wonderful moment whether they're there your children or not so and you talk about uh your daughter on the aut autistic spectrum that's even more special because sometimes the opportunities may seem limited mm -hmm. and, and you guys do something special which uh, I, I just found about recently your production crew is made up of about 40 percent teenagers right yes. in fact your director of the upcoming play i love it he's actually an eighth grader isn't he yes, <laughs> in, yes. His, in his bio he lists himself as, as a freshman in the 24 25 Wadsworth. <laughs> yep. i just stop and look as i put i wrote freshman it's like wait a minute he's an eighth grader yes right? <laughs> so, you know, there's so many things that us adults as well yes. can learn from the next generation. Yeah. Yes, it's our job to educate and inspire the next generation, but they also inspire us. And yeah. Yes, and they, they teach us a lot of things about technology. Oh, they do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they do. So uh, can you guys share any upcoming events that you have going on? I know you just had a fundraising event. In fact, I, I don't know. Is that an annual event that you do? Is it that, is. Okay. We do a pancake breakfast um, with the Easter Bunny each ah, year. That's yes. our, this is our second one. So we did one for um, Lily Blonde Jr. And then we just had our next one that we did for Beauty and the Beast Jr., right. which is running October 11th through the 13th. So that's our biggest, most exciting work. Ah, those, those Easter uh, fundraisers yes. are always good. Yes. And I know it seems like, oh my gosh, that's so far in the future, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because, you know, it's March, but um, we have to constantly fundraise yeah. for our organization because there are tons of expenses right. that go with any production. You know, it's upwards of $20,000 for each musical that we produce. Wow. So we have to find the sponsors. So, you know, we find those sponsors and then, you know, doing those, the fundraising at the farmer's table was mm -hmm. really helpful for us as well. Oh, terrific. So why don't you give folks that way to get in touch with you again, the website, the Facebook, and whatever <laughs> yes. else you have? Yes. We're at bctohio.org. And on Facebook, we are Buckeye Community Theater. And Instagram, we are Buckeye Community Theater as well. And you are taking donors for the upcoming uh, yeah. Beauty and the Beast <laughs> yes, Juniors? 
So uh, <laughs> anyone uh, interested in supporting either the theater or youth in Medina County, uh, the Buckeye Community Theater is a great way to do it. And uh, Kimberly and Susan, thank you very much for taking the time to join us today on the Medina County Arts Council's Spotlight on the Arts. And thank all of you for tuning in. I'm Mike Kovac, and I hope you have a great day. The Medina County Arts Council is proud to present Spotlight on the Arts. The Medina County Arts Council's mission is to support, nurture, and advocate for the arts in Medina County. And you can get more information at medinacountyartscouncil.org. Thanks for tuning in.